perfect. Hi, it's Dave from 44 Golf. It's time for the monthly update for August. This month we'll be going through what's been happening through the month. A little bit of a Trackman distance charting session that I did um, and taking some shots around the Vines Golf Club, which I'm at the, or Vines Resort, that I'm at at the moment. Okay, so I'm here on the second hole at the Vines on the Ellenbrook course, and it's uh, it's the resort course out of the two. The Lakes is the members course, but yeah, it's a good setup. Played it a few times before. This one's par four, 320-ish, um, something like that. Bunkers down the left-hand side, loads of room on the right. So I'm going to try and play a little bit of a fadey one that. Way. So, off to a good start. So, what else has been happening? Um, earlier on in the month, I went down to Perth Golf Centre and I did a Trackman distance charting session. So why is that important? It is quite important to know how far you hit the ball. It allows you to pick yourself away around the course, um, but also it's good to know where the dispersion is. So here's some video of that. For golf, I'm here at Perth Golf Centre again. I'm going on the track man and I am going to be doing a distance charting session. And then I probably won't show you a lot from the session itself because it's just going to be me hitting into a net with nothing else going on. But I will be doing a part on why it's important you know how far you hit your clubs. Perfect.
here's the result with that tee shot and I have 101 meters to the center of the flat. Now, I know from the distance charting session that I did that 100 meters, 97 meters is spot on for a gap wedge. I can see, and I'll show you, that the pin is actually quite close beyond that bunker there. So being a little bit long, probably not the end of the world. So I'm gonna take my gap wedge. I also know that I've got a slight bias of a club uh, or ball going to the left of target. So I'm going to aim to the juicy part of the right half of the green and hopefully it comes in somewhere close to the flat. Okay, it's towards the back of the green but not too bad. green hopefully you can see that flag just there and more importantly I took enough club that I would clear that bunker so I said in the other video how important it is to know how far you hit your clubs how far you hit them doesn't matter as long as you know how far that is if I know that I can take a certain element of trouble out of the golf course by hitting a certain club which I've done here well hopefully I can shoot last scores course when you can't putt there's no helping you so what else has been going on uh, I managed to hit the height of 100 subscribers which I'm over the moon about and for each and every one of you that does watch the content and subscribes I cannot thank you enough honestly it's such a minor thing in YouTube um, terms but for me it's huge it does bring me into something like only 5% of YouTube accounts actually reach this milestone so I'm over the moon about it and thank you so much for those that do subscribe and if you don't and you don't know how drop me a comment I'll exactly show you. so I've just sat that bunker that's on the left hand side of the fairway there 211 meters I know from that charting session that I typically carry driver about 220 meters so I'm either going to have to fly it or try and stay to the right of it. The one that's on the right that's behind these trees that you can't see is not really in play anyway, hopefully. Um, so again it's going to be a bit of a fade and that probably suits this tree being in the way as well. started on it, it's definitely faded away from it, it has ended up to the right hand side of it but a bit closer than I'd like to have been to it. Very cold morning and the ball is not flying nearly as far and that's another thing to bear in mind. These distance charting or the, the track man stuff that I did was all done in closed environment so I had temperatures set at normal levels stuff like that. When it's cold the ball will not fly as far and when you don't really hit it properly it won't fly far over. So that's when my ball finished there. That's the bunker that I was trying to avoid. And uh, mission accomplished, I suppose. But uh, so because it is cold, I've now got 270 meters left into this par five. So getting it is irrelevant. The bunker that is on the left hand side here starts at 170 away um, and finishes about 200 away. So I'm just going to try and stay to the right hand side of that. It's 270 as a crow flies, so a 200 shot towards the right of that should leave me around about 90 in, something like that. The maths is solid because it's the, actually it's a crow flies. Or I'm just bad at maths. Distances mean nothing when you hit a shot like that. That was horrible. So after some 
fun down the left hand side. Um, I'm ending up playing my fourth shot from here. So I've got 61 to the pin. I just actually zapped it with my Bushnell. So I'm going to play this probably about 10 metres short of the pin and allow it to roll up. There we go. Ta da! Sounds about 10 metres short and has rolled on a little bit. Got a par part now. So just while I wait for this green to clear ahead, um, coming up in September, I'm going to the Singapore Grand Prix. So if anyone has been to Singapore and has recommendation of courses that I can play while I'm there, I don't know if I've got a lot of time. Well, I know I haven't got a lot of time, but if I can fit it in, I will. If it's a great, uh, good enough recommendation, comment below. I had a terrible drive on this hole, but I just hit an amazing second shot. Just hit a four iron from 185. before and after shots so here's the before and uh, here's the after not really here's the after itself um, it wasn't really about um, losing weight or anything like that it was about changing my mindset and getting myself um, happier doing some exercise again that didn't involve playing golf not that many people consider golf that much exercise but um, it did that I definitely I'm you know I'm getting I'm doing yoga at least once a week I'm doing fitness classes I'm going to the gym and I'm feeling a lot lot better about myself as well so um, measurements wise we did some at the beginning I think I was 102 at a waist and now I'm 96 centimeters that is not inches <laughs> could have been um, so yeah look it's had a positive effect and hopefully I'll see that come through in better golf as well. Fingers crossed. So fifth hole par three, 161 meters. Oh, that. Again, it is cold. It's slightly downhill, but I think the fact that it's cold, I'm taking a fairly safe club of six iron, you could easily get there. Um, it's not run out a little bit as well. What a beautiful hole as well. It's framed up lovely, you've got turf hills in the background. If you're in the area, come and check this golf course out. It is really good. So an unusual one, I missed that to the right. Doesn't often happen, but I do get a little bit of a block so often, particularly when I try and hold the face open, we'll stop it turning over. So it's going to be a tough up and down from there. So that will be the end of it. My phone is just about to die. So if you did like the video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you again next time.
perfect. 